So you bought yourself some Bitcoin, some Ethereum, and some other cryptos you really wish you hadn't. And now you need to find a place to store them for the upcoming bull market. So in this video, I wanna run through my top five wallets on where you can store your cryptocurrency, and of course, give you the pros and cons, and a bit of a strategy on how I use these wallets. So if that's what you're looking for, stick around, hit the like button down below, subscribe for more cryptocurrency and investing content on the channel, and be sure to hit that bell notification icon because YouTube loves to shadow ban cryptocurrency content. Now, before we dive into the video, in case you didn't know, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just going through processes that I've used in the cryptocurrency space and sharing it with you guys on the internet. Since you clicked onto this video, I'm going to assume you understand the importance of protecting your finances. But just in case you need a little refresher, if it's not your keys, it's not your crypto. So essentially you need to be in control of the cryptocurrency that you manage. Being in control doesn't mean leaving it on an exchange. Exchanges are vulnerable to hacks and the CEOs or the creators of those exchanges can run off with your cryptocurrencies. These stories have happened in the past and they will happen again in the future. So it's best to protect what is yours as best as possible. And that's why you are here on this video to find out what are the best five cryptocurrency wallets. Now I have a range of wallets to go through, including hardware wallets, mobile apps, apps that connect with your mobile and desktop, they all sync. So there's something for everybody, even exchanges within the wallet apps themselves. So you, we can be beginners to advanced. There's something for everyone here and you can go through the journey from beginner to advanced using these wallet apps. So let's dive into the first wallet. Now the first wallet I'm gonna have a look at is the hardware wallet. I'm gonna look at Ledger Nano X and Ledger Nano S. So I have a copy of these two things right here. There is the S and there is the X. They're very similar. However, the Ledger Nano X is Bluetooth and connects with your phone, whereas the Ledger Nano S is very simple and just plugs into your computer and you use it with an app called Ledger Live, which I will show you. Now I've chosen the Ledger hardware wallet as my top cryptocurrency wallet because it gives you security all around. Plus, it is very easy to use. It has a mobile app, it has a desktop app, and everything syncs really nicely together. The difference between the two devices here, uh, the S doesn't have that much storage space on it, so you can only download a few applications, meaning a few different cryptocurrencies, whereas the Legend Nano X has a lot more storage, and you can hold up to about 100 different cryptos on there. Now, out of the two devices, the Legend Nano S is cheaper at 110 Aussie dollars, and the Legend Nano X is 200 Aussie dollars. Now the Legend Nano S, which is the cheaper one, takes a little bit of work to get set up and you'll have to get your 24 word pin code and write it down and tap into it and you only get two buttons on the device itself to toggle between the letters. So it does take some time to set up, but it's your finances, you become the bank. So it's really important to take the security seriously. So if you are looking to just store some Bitcoin Ethereum, uh, keep it somewhere safe, I'd probably go with the Legend Nano S, only because you can just buy it, it's cheap, 100 bucks, put it on there and keep it somewhere safe. Legend Nano X is a nice one to use throughout the days, whatever you need to do with it, because it has the feature of Bluetooth and talks with your mobile phone, so that's a lot easier. Now, if you are gonna buy one of these ledgers, make sure you always buy it from the official website, so make sure you check that when you are going to buy it. I do have an affiliate link in the description down below if you'd like to support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and that is the official link. Don't ever buy these from Amazon, eBay, Facebook, any of those sorts of secondhand sites. You can be scammed out of your cryptocurrency, whereas they can open up the boxes, figure out the passwords, seal them up again, and then sell them to you. So never buy them off Amazon, eBay, etc. Always buy them from the official site, and that goes with any other hardware wallets. So just taking a quick look at the app that you'll get on your computer, this is what it looks like. Ledger Live, you can download it from the Apple Store, the Google Store, Android Store, it's all there. Nice and easy to use. All your account settings are through here. Send, receive, buy and sell, so you can use the exchange from the app as well, so it's all secure. That's a nice thing about Ledger. It's almost an all-in-one crypto safety 
storage and trading. So Ledger definitely takes my top spot. Now let's move across to an easier to use cryptocurrency wallet. And this is the one that I suggest to a lot of people who ask on the channel whenever there's a question, how do I store it? Exodus, Exodus, this is the wallet right here. Nice and simple. It has a desktop app. It has a mobile app. They sync really nicely between each other. You can trade cryptocurrencies from the app itself on the mobile and on the desktop. The fees are higher, so just keep that in mind. That's the price that we pay for the convenience. So basically you're just gonna put in your Bitcoin and Ethereum. You can do that from the app. You can earn interest from the app. There aren't as many features as some of the other wallets I'm gonna show you in a sec. Pretty much you can earn interest on DAI and a couple of others. Another nice feature of Exodus is your pie chart portfolio. Now, if I had some coins on here, it would show up in a pie chart and you can see it at a quick glance when you open it. There are backup keys, so you should keep your wallet. Here's your secret 12 word recovery phrase. So make sure you keep that, write that down, keep it somewhere safe because if you lose that paper and you lose your computer or the app gets wiped, then you're done, you've lost because you need those keys in order to get your crypto, in order to access your cryptocurrency. Now, it also has several crypto coins. You can look at them all through here, cryptocurrencies, and a nice easy button here to add more. So you click through, add whichever ones you want on that homepage and remove the others so you can keep the homepage looking nice and clean. As you can see at the top here, it does have Trezor support uh, for a lot of the cryptos that are on here, but it does not have Trezor support for Ripple. So keep that in mind for the Ripple guys. Uh, you can see here as well, there's the annualized return for other coins like Algorand, there's 7% there. So Exodus is my choice for beginners and it's nice and easy to use if you wanna just trade some of the majors that are on there and trade them between each other. Like I said, it is very easy to use, but if you do find troubles, they do have 24 seven live chat support. So that's a really nice feature of this wallet, whereas some of the others do not have that feature. So that's why I choose this one for beginners. That's Exodus Wallet, nice and easy to use. And of course, there are the earn rewards as well. At number three is Crypto.com's mobile wallet app. Note, it is not decentralized. However, they do have a decentralized mobile wallet as well. Like I said here, your keys, your crypto. So they have the two. Personally, I'm not connecting the two. I don't wanna have my details crossed over into the DeFi wallet of theirs. So take that in consideration if that's what you wanna do. However, for most people, it's probably not gonna to be too much of an issue. This is the wallet that has everything. If you want to earn interest on your cryptocurrencies, if you want to pay for things with a debit card, yes, they have a debit card as well. If you wanna get loans out on your cryptocurrency, if you want to buy cryptos on an exchange, if you want to change between different fiat currencies, it has everything. Crypto.com has been building this platform for many years now, and it really works very, very well. Uh, they also have referral features. So yes, I do have a, another link in the description for this. You don't have to use it, but if you do, I get 25 US dollars and you also get 25 US dollars of their cryptocurrency. So go and check that link out if you want to sign up for crypto.com. Now, I love this app because it makes using cryptocurrency so much more usable in the everyday life. Whereas the other apps, you still need to transfer your crypto and move them around. So in terms of a safe place to store it, this is probably better, in my opinion, than on cryptocurrency exchanges because they do have insurance on here. Now this is the insurance that they have. Crypto.com has secured $100 million in direct insurance policies. So if anything happens to the crypto on the app, it is insured by them. Now you probably have to go through a process to get it back. So I wouldn't be keeping everything on here, but it's just an easy to use wallet if you are looking to transact with your cryptocurrencies. Now to store it, because this is obviously what the video is about, safety is the DeFi wallet yourself. So you've got the decentralized crypto.com wallet, nice and easy to use, clean interface. And of course you can connect it with the crypto.com wallet uh, and you've still got the safety and security of the decentralized wallet, which means if anything happens to crypto.com, you still retain access to your cryptocurrencies. So in terms of security and safety, this one is up there for me. Hardware wallets are the best. And then if we want to use the cryptocurrency and store it safely rather than it's storing on an exchange, 
I'd go with something like crypto.com. Now, if you don't want all of these features, then you've got things like Exodus. So we're at number five now, and it's the Coinbase wallet, not the Coinbase exchange. Remember, we wanna keep our cryptos on a wallet. Now, I'm bringing this one up here. I personally don't use it because I have all those other options. However, I am adding it in because a lot of people do use Coinbase and they happen to just leave their coins on Coinbase, the Coinbase exchange. Don't do that. Put them onto a wallet to keep them safe. So, like I said, full transparency, I don't use Coinbase wallet because I have the other ones. However, this is really important for a lot of people who do use Coinbase, the exchange chuck them on here. Now this was a toss up between Coinbase wallet and Trust wallet. Trust wallet is the native wallet for Binance. So it was originally out there as Trust wallet. Now Binance has bought it. Binance is also one of the biggest exchanges in the world. And uh, I thought I'd bring this one up as well because people do leave their cryptos on exchanges on Binance. Uh, rather than do that, bring it onto a mobile wallet app like Trust Wallet. Now Trust Wallet also has a lot of these features that crypto.com has, so I don't need to be biased towards one or the other. You choose which one works better for you. Personally, I would download them all, play around with them and see which one you like the interface of better. In terms of security, they all have great security. The ones that I've mentioned here, uh, many of them have been insured if they are centralized. And then you can also earn on your cryptocurrencies that are stored in the app, which is also pretty cool because if you are storing your cryptocurrencies in there, it would be nice to get a little bit of interest on it. Now, in terms of holding my vast majority of cryptocurrencies, and I'm talking from, from my experience, you guys do what you want, I wouldn't be holding my massive bags of crypto on wallets like this. I would leave those for the hardware wallets. These are to transact with every day, and you can keep a reasonable amount on these. Now, just a quick look at the Coinbase wallet, and you can access decentralized apps. And of course, send and receive, connect it with your Coinbase account. So it makes life really, really easy, especially if you're trying to buy and sell on the exchange and then you wanna store it somewhere safe. You can download it on Google, download it in the App Store. They have a lot of those features which makes life a lot easier. Now, I've got two quick honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is Trezor, Trezor One. It's the cheaper of the Trezors that are out there. Uh, 49 euros that you can see up here. Now with this one, it doesn't support everything. The Trezor One doesn't support Ripple, doesn't support Cardano, EOS, Monero, Tezos. So keep that in mind if you are looking to get a Trezor, that's the cheaper of the two. This is the honorable mention for another hardware wallet option. Uh, you've also got the Trezor Model T, which is more expensive, but does support those cryptocurrencies. Now it is safe, it's secure, it's your hardware wallet. Now the downside to Trezor is it doesn't have an app set up like Ledger does with Ledger Live and it doesn't have any staking. So keep that in mind if you are looking to stake your cryptos which are just being held in your wallet. And finally, the last honorable mention is MetaMask. It's really easy to use. The downside is you can't load Bitcoin or any other cryptos apart from Ethereum and ERC20 tokens. I do make a mention to it because it's going to be very, very useful if you're going to be using decentralized exchanges. So at some point in your crypto journey, you're probably gonna to have to set up one of these accounts. There are other wallets like this. However, MetaMask has been around a long time. It is extremely easy to use. And like I said, you're probably gonna need one to be able to exchange on decentralized exchanges. So that's why MetaMask also makes it in as an honorable mention, but it's not somewhere that I would actively store large amounts of cryptocurrency. All right guys, well that's the look at my top five cryptocurrency wallets and how I use them. Just to recap, one, the Ledger. Ledger hardware wallets, they are the storage, the vault that we use. Number two was Exodus. That's a great beginner wallet, easy to transact with, use every day, and uh, it works really, really well, nice clean user interface. Number three, crypto.com. If you want a jam-packed feature full of everything, wallet and debit card, check out crypto.com. Links for that are in the description, just as they are with the Ledger device. Number four was the decentralized crypto.com wallet. Uh, that one's nice because it has the security that crypto.com doesn't have. Like I said, crypto.com wallet also is insured by the company up to 100 million. I think that's also increased to 360 million. And finally, the fifth one was a toss up between the exchange wallets, which are not on the exchange, but 
I wanted to mention them because a lot of people do keep their currencies on the exchange. It was the Coinbase wallet or the Trust wallet, which is Binance's wallet. So check those out as well. The honorable mentions were MetaMask for a web-based wallet, which you'll need to use with decentralized exchanges. And of course the Trezor, but it doesn't have the same sort of features that the Ledger does. So I hope that gave you a clearer understanding of cryptocurrency wallets. There are a wide range of them and they serve different purposes. So you're gonna to have to figure out what it is that you wanna do with your cryptocurrency. Do you want everyday transactions and a nice safe place to keep them? Do you want some cold storage, which is like your big vault and every time you make some profits, chuck it into that. They can all be used, but it's probably easier just to pick between two or three of them at most. So check them out. If you wanna support the channel, I do have links to some of these wallets in the description down below. And before I wrap it up, I just wanna mention a few safe keeping things. It's probably best never to tell anyone how much crypto you actually have. Main reason is you are now your bank. Keep that in mind. The money that you have is yours. It's not going to the government. The government is not going to protect you with their army, their police and, and their guns. This is up to you. And if you don't have that sort of support, then it's probably best you don't go around telling people how much crypto you have. That's up to you. If you can keep that ego to yourself, that's gonna work in your favor. I know I sure go through that problem myself, but just think about the safety at the other end. And lastly, I know I've repeated it many times, but keep your passwords safe. Like I said, you are your own bank now. So if you lose these passwords, that's it. There's no one to go phoning to to get your money back. Keep the passwords very, very safe. Make copies of them, have some sort of plan for them. But at the end of the day, you are your own bank. Now, I hope you found value from that video, guys. If you did, leave us a like down below. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite cryptocurrency wallet to use and why. And I will put some more videos together in regards to cryptocurrency wallets because this space is forever changing and eventually there's going to be something that outdoes these wallets as well. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Hit the subscribe and the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date with the cryptocurrency news and investing. And I'll catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.